the problem with every iphone user is that if they want to get a smartwatch for themselves then the best option is only the apple watch itself but the problem is it is quite expensive even this uh series 3 costs like 20000 rupees and this is not even recommended right now as this is not going to get the future software updates so at this point uh, some people tend to look at some other non apple watch options like the galaxy watch from samsung because that's the second biggest brand so if you are planning to get a galaxy watch or maybe any other non apple watch i'm going to tell you how this is going to work with your iphone and all the important stuff so if you're new to the channel subscribe like this video guys let's begin so starting with pairing if you miss any steps some of the functions may not work so first up you need to find this wearable app from the play store you can find this app easily and once you do that just allow all these permissions so that it works properly and when you select your watch here you can notice the galaxy watch 4 the latest one is not supported which is a shame but at this point swipe up on the watch to start pairing and here click on the continue and choose your respective model and this should take about a couple minutes or so just be patient and here make sure you give all the permissions so that it works properly and more importantly create a samsung account when it is prompted to do so so that you can install watch faces apps etc so once you finish this setup and when you get to this screen now head over to the settings and bluetooth settings here notice the devices you have not just one but two galaxy watch devices one is listed in the other devices as you can see one of which is already connected while pairing up and we need to do the second pair up right in the settings so that this is used for calls if you miss this step then you cannot use your galaxy watch for taking calls on the watch itself the call is routed to the phone as you can see so as you can see both of these are listed as connected now one of which is actually detected as an audio accessory so that it is used for calls so the calling works great you can either reject or take the call on the watch itself you can use the contacts or the dialer to even make calls on the watch the speaker and the mic quality is pretty good as well and here is a quick sample for the speaker here you have dialed is invalid please check the number you have dialed the texting is a little limited here in that you can only view the message you cannot reply to the person however you can choose to block that particular notification i mean it could be any app if you want you can actually block the notification from that particular app or from that particular person who is texting you this is the only way you can filter the notifications as there is no option on the app side of things to select which apps you want to get notifications from all right moving to the watch faces if you sign in using the samsung account you get uh, this galaxy store from where you can actually download all of the apps but if you want to particularly download watch faces just click on over here and here you will find this watch faces section you have a lot of options in different categories as you can see and uh, in terms of watch faces i would say it shouldn't disappoint you moving to another important thing if you want to add any content to your watch like music or photos this is quite easy using the app as you can see here just follow these instructions and you can wirelessly transfer your music or even the images from the phone so that you can consume it on the watch using your airpods or stuff like that which is really really handy also you have the find my watch option here using which you can actually uh, make some noise from the watch as you can see here if you look at some other advanced settings you can see you have the touch bezel you can enable or disable this and you can also choose the side key for the app or function that you want to assign this is also very handy and really samsung did not leave anything in terms of customization they have added most of the st stuff that is available on the android so here you can also by the way use the bixby and it works pretty well yes it has some limitations but for general stuff like dictation and getting out weather stuff like that it works really well apart from this you also have some other important stuff like the do not disturb mode the good night mode or the theater mode which help you with the distractions and sort of help mute the notifications for different occasions and you can also customize the quick toggles as you can see here 
you can rearrange them and you can remove or add new ones as you can see here the good thing is most of the stuff you can manage this on the galaxy watch itself using the settings app you don't need to rely on the phone app but there are some things that you need the phone app for otherwise most of the stuff you can manage on the watch also if you want to check out the health information for this you need to install the samsung health app so that you can track your health data over here also the samsung pay doesn't work with the iphone even on android it only works with samsung phones and if you are in india it doesn't matter as it is not officially supported so after all it's not a bad idea to get a non apple watch for your iphone as it only costs about 10000 rupees or so so definitely you can consider getting a galaxy watch or any other non apple watch but there could be some limitations so anyway guys that's been it for this video like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful thanks for watching i'll see you soon